morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Yes, we are. Most of us have experienced our first snowfall or ice accumulation already. LaShondra and I have a few safety tips we would like to share with you. Okay, number one, when driving on ice, always adjust your speed. You should, you should not drive over 45 miles per hour. That's hard for us. Yeah. <laughs> Especially driving down here. <laughs> and try not to drive on icy roads. Stay home when possible or wait until the roads have been treated and the thread has passed. That's true. So some people can't, like you said, they have to go to work and stuff, but they want you to leave in a good, timely manner, though, too. Exactly, you know? exactly. And number three, please always wear um, your seatbelt. Um, pay attention to the weather. Try to leave 30 to 45 minutes earlier, like LaShonda had just mentioned. And pay attention to all of the weather um, watches and warnings in your area, especially if you're going to be traveling to and from work mm -hmm. and you live so far away. And go easy on the brakes. The analog brakes do not do well on ice or snow. Sliding wheels are uncontrollable. I was, I was a witness to that. Was you? Yeah. Last February, I slid right into a diesel. I was, good thing I was in my big car because I just bumped his, he didn't even know I hit him because he was stopped on top of the hill. And I just slid right into him, just tore my bumper. But, just tore your bumper. But he didn't know it. <laughs> Always um, turn into a slide. So if you start to slide, turn your wheels in the direction mm -hmm. that the back of your uh, vehicle is going. So if you if you notice the back of your vehicle is going to the right, you want to turn to that right and you want to slide into that mm -hmm. turn. Um, if you start to fishtail, like LaShondra mentioned earlier, you are going way too fast. Adjust that speed uh, down. And accidents on an icy roadway happens in multiples. Do not stop for any other accidents or stranded vehicles. Keep moving. Avoid hills or other dangerous roads. Look for an alternate route. Yeah. So. Especially in this area, we have a lot of curvy roads yes. and hills and stuff to, to climb. Um, the next tip is actually going to be driving on the snow because there's a big difference from driving from the snow and on the ice. And the first one is stay home if you can. I know everyone watching this show is going to say, well, I can't. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, there are going to be some times that you will have to call in. You're just not going to make it there. So drive slow. Um, accelerate and decelerate slowly to regain um, traction to avoid um, the skids. Yeah. Increase your following distance. Try to stay three to four car lengths behind the car in front of you. And then know your brakes again. If you have those ABS brakes, um, you want to actually keep the heel of your foot on the floor and use the ball of your foot to apply firm, steady um, pressure on that brake pedal, which I did not know that. Mm. I'm usually just like really just yeah, like stomp. Yeah. I don't know if you guys see my feet or, or not, but right now I'm like stomping on that brake yeah. pedal. <laughs> I learned my lesson from there. You don't want to do that. From that slide. And um, and uh, whatever you do, do not uh, stop. Um, keep going, keep going slow, but keep moving. Yes. And please wear your seatbelt at all times. Yeah. And, okay, we have tips for home health, hospice, or CNA traveling long mm -hmm. distance to work. Yeah. Um, you want to stay home again. Be prepared. Um, have your vehicle checked. Have the tires checked. Have your windshield checked. Um, and your wipers. And then again, check that weather in your area if you're going to be traveling because they have different um, weather advisories out for all areas this time of year. And then also you want to stay connected. Notify others, let them know the route or the estimated time of your arrival. If you get stuck, stay away from your vehicle, stay with your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't get away, don't get out of your vehicle, just stay with it. Yeah. And I like that because that's something um, you as a transport yes. um, CNA that you have to adjust your time in order yes. to get there safely to, and, mm -hmm. and everything. So that's a good advice. And if you do have to dig your um, vehicle out, do not overexert yourself. If you feel any shortness of breath, you have pains in your arms and your limbs, please stop and listen to your body. Um, you do not want to come too um, tired. And then be visible. Um, tie a bright colored cloth to the antenna 
at night, try to keep the dome light on um, if possible. And if you do get stuck in your, your car, clear the exhaust pipe. A black exhaust pipe can become very um, dangerous. It can put carbon dioxide into the vehicle as well. And that's something that I've never really um, thought about before. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, giving other people advice on safety tips, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. like um, it wakes you up just mm -hmm. as much to stay prepared. And you want to stay warm, insulate your body from the cold, use floor masks, newspapers, Prepack a bag with blankets mm -hmm. and heavy clothing. And you also want to try to um, conserve that fuel. Um, run the engine and heater just enough to take that chill away. And always start out with a full tank of gas. And that's something else that I'm very bad on. <laughs> I always start out with a half a tank or just, <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get gas, yeah. you know, in the next town. Most of all, just stay safe and play it smart. Be aware at all times of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come back and watch us on Everyday CNA. And stay safe during this weather. <laughs>